Hey everyone, it's Greg from Bell's Backyard. We had a question on what is the best potting soil mixture that you can make for your fall garden vegetables, specifically your brassicas, your cabbages, your cauliflowers, your broccolis, your Brussels sprouts, <clears throat> those kind of plants. Now these require a little bit of a different soil mixture and we're gonna show you what we've been using for the last several years. It's been very simple for us. Look at that beautiful thing. <laughs> Sorry about that. Apparently I get distracted by pretty butterflies. Uh, so let's talk about the soil requirements of your fall vegetable gardens. Now mostly our the vegetables you're going to be planted are going to be brassicas and we already talked about that. These guys require a moist soil but not a wet soil. So it needs to have incredibly good drainage but still have the ability to hold the moisture in. They are, these guys are also incredibly heavy feeders so you want to have a smoking high level of nitrogen that's in there um, that way that they can produce that nice red dark green um, that you want to see in your red cabbages and also the greens that you want to get out of your Brussels sprouts and your broccolis. They also want to have a pH that's going to be between a 6.0 and a 7.0 personally I like to have it lower than a 6.5 try to keep it around the 6.1 6.4 um, pH now the way that we're gonna do this is very very simple so this is gonna be enough to fill either three five gallon buckets or I can fill five of my three and a half gallon buckets. So the first thing we wanna do, we're gonna put in this Kellogg's raised garden bed mixture. Now this stuff, the reason why I like it, and if anybody's seen any of my videos in the past, you've seen me hauling this stuff around. The reason why I like this stuff, there's some fines in here, some very some medium particles and some very, here we go, some large particles that are in there. So what happens once we get our pots or our raised garden beds mixed up and we get our plants into it as the fines and the medium particles start to settle out these larger particles stay towards the surface and it creates almost a natural mulch now there is there is some nitrogen and potassium that's in here it's just not the same level that we need to have for our uh, for our brassicas or our fall vegetables so we're going to go ahead and take their pants into that we don't need it right now we're going to go ahead and take this thing and just dump it out this is into our garden cart this stuff's beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and take that, <clears throat> set it into our cart, and then, now we're going to talk about nitrogen. Nitrogen uh, creates that, like I said before, that reds and those dark greens. And the way that I like to do it is we're going to use this. It's a black cow cow manure. So we have one bag of the Kellogg's, and we're only going to take about a third of the black cow bag. And we're going to mix that into our soil here. Now. There we go, that's probably a little more than I needed, but that'll be just fine. And we're just gonna take and we're gonna mix all of this up, get that manure and get that really nice look in there. Okay, once we get this stuff all mixed up and everything looks good, you can do it with a shovel if you don't like putting your hands in aged cow manure, but I love the smell of it. Okay, this is it. See how beautiful this stuff is? I'll show you a picture of it here in just a second. So we're gonna take one of our buckets. Let's use this one right here. Now, if you noticed, I haven't put my soil acidifier in there yet. The reason why I found that when you try to mix the soil completely with the acidifier in it, it has a tendency to have the pH rise pretty rapidly. And I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up this bucket with my soil mixture. Get that in there really nice. And then what I'm gonna do, that's perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, is this open? This one's not, but this one is. See, I use this stuff. So it's one tablespoon for every four inches of pot. Now this is a 10 inch pot, so we're gonna be using about two tablespoons, two and a half tablespoons. Now I've been doing this a while, so I know that for me, uh, that's about two tablespoons right there. And I'm gonna take that, I'm just gonna mix it across the top of the soil. There we go, it'll look just like that. And then we're just gonna mix it in. Now the reason why I wanna do that is once the roots start to grow, and they're gonna be in a pretty good, 
pretty good pH. It's going to be at around a 6.1 or 6.2. As the root starts to grow and it starts to drive deeper and deeper, the, the acidifier is also going to follow it down and it'll get down towards the base as the roots get deeper. I've found that if I try to put the acidifier in there mix it all together it has a tendency to dilute itself out and the ph remains a little bit too high just a trick of mine um, that i've been using so guys, so guys i know this video was short it's supposed to be i know your time is valuable i hope you found that this has uh, been helpful to you if you like what you saw go ahead and subscribe to the channel we try to answer specific questions as far as your garden is concerned we don't try to take up a lot of your time we try to bring you the information we need we also are a community so if you have any questions please feel free to write them down in the comments. We'll do some research to it. I will respond back directly. Or if there's a lot of you that are asking those questions, then we'll create a video that's something similar to this. But up until then, I'm Greg from Bell's Backyard. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.